So Blessed Be the Lord is a text that's an adaptation of the first half of Psalm 144. It's a song that talks about the help that we need from God. It's talking about things going way wrong and out of our control and asking for redemption and for help from God. In the midst of that, there's a recognition of God as a good being, even when things are going wrong. And I think that that's really powerful. And I found that coming out as I composed it, even when things can be chaotic or the mountains are trembling and smoking around us, I think there's a there's a spirit portrayed there of the solidity that we find in God. It's really empowering. Also, I wrote a significant portion of that piece when in Colorado, I was cooking for a group of snowboarders. And so I found that my creative juices could flow quite freely in that context. Yes, I feel like Cantate Domino Ensemble provides a really valuable service to the composer. A lot of young Anabaptist composers don't necessarily have a ready outlet to hear their music being sung um, especially by a skilled and talented choir such as this. And so it's, it's really quite delightful to hear what was originally in my mind, then transferred to the written page, and then being interpreted by other people seeing that written page. It's really incredible to hear that come to life. I think com composition within the Anabaptist community can serve a few different functions. So for one thing, we tend to have a lot of our songs be songs that were written by someone outside of our community from a sometimes a fairly different faith tradition. Um, and I think songs that come from within the Anabaptist community have, have a lot of value and a lot of potential. Um, so we have, we have tended to borrow from others the songs they have written, and I think it can be really valuable to sing what is coming from within.